Welcome to Backpacker Camp, helping you pack lighter, explore safely, and camp comfortably. You're watching 30 items for your do-it-yourself backpacking first aid kit. My name is Jeff. Let's get into it. Getting injured in the wilderness is dangerous. With no medical services or pharmacies around, even small cuts or sprains can result in infections and other complications. Having a good first aid kit is essential for backpackers. A good backpacking first aid kit must be able to deal with a variety of potential risks on the trail. But with limited space, you can't prepare for every scenario. While most generic first aid kits have basic essentials, their bandages and other materials are typically very low quality, and they don't include treatments for the most common ailments while hiking and camping. Backpackers are better served by building a custom DIY first aid kit. You may find that creating your own kit is less expensive and lighter weight than even well-designed first aid kits for backpackers. Plan for most likely medical needs while backpacking like blisters, burns, small cuts, sprains, soreness, and so on. Anything beyond that scope will probably require a cell phone and a lift to medical services. Ultralight backpackers or short weekend hiking trips only require the bare essentials that can be found in convenient kits, like the AMK Mountain Series Day Tripper First Aid Kit, which only weighs 15 ounces. See link in the description. Yet even good pre-packaged kits will require customization depending on your needs. For example, they typically do not come with any medicine whatsoever. Therefore, at minimum, you'll be adding your preferred meds to those commercial kits. Building a fully custom first aid kit for hiking and backpacking is not difficult. In fact, many of the items should be stocked as part of your regular household first aid supplies at all times. Your personal medicine cabinet probably has far superior products than you'll find in cheap kits. Anyone who has used generic bandages knows that they're practically useless. This is a list of 30 must-have items to build your own backpacking first aid kit. The first 10 items fall under wound care. Here they are. Number one, hand sanitizer. A good hand sanitizer is useful for many reasons while backpacking. It's essential to use before touching any other items in the first aid kit before any treatment. Two, antiseptic wipes. It's best to clean any cuts, wounds, bug bites, and burns with antiseptic wipes before applying other first aid to them. Three, antibacterial ointment. After thoroughly cleaning any cuts or wounds, apply generous amounts of antibacterial or antibiotic ointment before bandaging to help keep infections from festering. Four, assorted adhesive bandages. Don't you even think about getting cheap bandages without flexible fabric bands? Five, butterfly bandages. Butterfly bandages or other adhesive wound closure strips help close medium-sized wounds that may require stitches. Six, gauze pads. Include good sterile gauze pads in your backpacking first aid kit for small wounds. This Israeli battle dressing compression bandage is good for deep wounds up to six inches long. Seven, medical adhesive tape. Waterproof medical tape is necessary for securing gauze and bandages over medium-sized cuts and wounds. First aid tape can be useful in many other ways while backpacking. 8. Elastic Bandage Wrap Compression Roll A compression wrap will be used for sprains and wrapping large wounds. 9. Blister Treatment Blister treatment includes a moleskin bandage kit to protect, heal, and prevent blisters on feet. 10. Cotton Tip Swabs Cotton tipped swabs are good for cleaning small cuts and applying ointments and other topical treatments to help avoid infections. Now, here are 10 medications to consider for your backpacking first aid kit. First is prescription medications. Be sure to add your prescription medications to your first aid kit, as well as any supplements that you take regularly. Two, ibuprofen or similar anti-inflammatory pain relief medication. Ibuprofen, like Advil, is effective for relieving pain from leg soreness after long hikes, headaches, and injuries. Three, anti-diarrhea medication. Diarrhea kills more people than any other ailment. Really, it's dehydration that kills, but diarrhea causes dehydration. A simple anti-diarrhea medication could save your life while backpacking. 4. Insect Sting and Anti-Itch Treatment Relief from itching and pain from insects will help keep you comfortable in uncomfortable circumstances. 5. Antihistamine Antihistamines like Benadryl treat allergic reactions on the trail, could also be a lifesaver. 6. Sunburn Relief Sunburns are common while backpacking long distances. Include aloe vera-based burn relief gel in your kit. 7. Throat lozenges. Pack throat lozenges to relieve scratchy, irritated, and sore throats. 8. Lubricant eye drops. Lubricant eye drops relieve red puffy eyes from pollen and serve to flush debris from eyes. 9. Antacid tablets. 
heartburn can be extremely uncomfortable. You won't regret including antacids in your first aid kit. 10. Insect Repellent Any outdoor activity kit must include effective bug spray to keep the bloodsuckers away. And finally, here are 10 tools you may need in your DIY first aid kit. First is fine point tweezers. Tweezers are handy for removing ticks, ingrown hairs, and splinters. 2. Safety pins. Safety pins have countless uses while backpacking. First aid is just one of them. 3. Paramedic shears. Paramedic shears are blunt tip scissors that can cut clothing around a wound without puncturing skin and cut gauze and other wound dressings to size. 4. Scalpel razor blade. A sterile scalpel may come in handy to drain infections and cut dressings. 5. Standard oral thermometer. Having a thermometer is critical for determining if you're running a fever. 6. Medical gloves. All kits should include high-quality medical gloves to reduce infections during first aid. 7. Stitches kit. When butterfly bandages aren't enough to keep a wound closed, suture kits can be useful. 8. Medical waste bag. Proper disposal for used bandages and bloody clothes. 9. Waterproof containers for meds. Keep your medicine dry and separated with waterproof containers. 10. Emergency heat reflecting blanket. Mylar emergency blankets are one of the most versatile items every backpacker should always carry. There you have it. 30 items for your DIY backpacking first aid kit. What did I miss? What do you carry in your first aid kit while backpacking? Let me know in the comments. If you haven't already seen them, check my videos on the 5 best ultralight one-person tents and the 5 best hiking backpacks. Until next time, stay adventurous.